Yes, welcome one and all. It is the first sporting event at the newly renamed Marvel Stadium. And many, no doubt, have come to Marvel. It's arguably the A-League's biggest name since Alessandro Del Piero, even including the Caulfield races down the road. Keisuke Honda is the real thoroughbred in Melbourne today. But while his quality is not in doubt, the ability of victory to find a system to suit him just might be. He's almost playing up with Fornaroli when they're attacking and drops back in to create a five-man midfield when they lose the ball. And Tonic's all oh, awkward for Kolekovic. I'm not sure that was intentional. Maybe it was. Terry Antonis will know. But Galekovic had to backpedal very quickly to palm that one away. Yeah, well, it was just floated. He's, he's definitely crossing. A handful of games under Sir Alex Ferguson at Manchester United. There he is, not legging. Terry Antonis, who doubts his pedigree. Richard Delatz. Magical position. It should be Galekovic's. They just didn't get enough bend on it. Delbridge now with Caceres who will slide it through and Fornaroli is onto it. Lawrence Thomas had to make it and fortunately for victory he did. Here come victory through their marquee battle. One of them, Keisuke Honda. Tonis inside the penalty area. Nice little reverse ball for Stormaru to hang it up. Honda! That's what they came to see. His first goal for Melbourne victory. And the well oiled scoring machine clicks into gear for his new club at the first time of asking. 1 0 victory. Well, it's a thumping header from Honda. It's not what we're really used to seeing him do, but it just shows you that in his locker, he truly has everything. But anyway. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't you calling. It was the first game now of victory. the NBA League. Got to make sure that they keep the back door shut. It was the Rockers' header over the top. He says, I'll have it ahead of a few. Clips it across, Antonis in a bit of room here, Terry Antonis. And he sets himself nicely, yes. just didn't really get the power or direction he wanted. Drop of the shoulder, trying to get rid of Niedema, he's got three around him now, Bruno Fornaroli, and he's drawn the foul. Victory fans don't like it, still checking. Kurt Amps just waiting for the OK. Oh, here we go. This could be a pen. This could be a penalty. He's going to have a look. Have a look at it. OK. Is there a slight push there from Bayern? I mean, well, I don't think so, to be honest, but maybe I'm missing something there. Yep, penalty. Penalty. Well, Kevin Musket can scarcely believe it. Berenguer, who is four from four from the spots during his career in France, has the responsibility. He's got to put the crowd out of his mind and focus on squaring the ledger for Melbourne City. Saved by Thomas, but in on the follow-up by Richard Delat, who was first to react, and it is all square in the Melbourne Derby. <laughs> well, he's so unlucky, Thomas. A brilliant save, but credit Richard Delat, who's the first to react and finishes it well. So they get lucky on two occasions. In time, down goes Bayerna. Oh, and then Mathieu clattered into the back of Fornaroli in retaliation, and it's on for all money. Here we go. Well, what did I say a few minutes ago, Robbie? You felt as though this game was on the edge, and we've had those two little flashpoints, the penalty, whether you think it should have been awarded or not, and now this. Side of it's Costa Barbarossa shaping for the shots. Belekovic got a piece of it. Forward now, Troisi might open up for him. James Troisi off the frame of the goal. And victory was so close to restoring their advantage, they still might. Opened up for him. Right idea. Inside of the post, centimetres. And it's going to be Caceres to be withdrawn. And Riley McGree, scorer of that scorpion goal in the finals last year to take his place. Luke Bratton leading the charge. Riley McGree in position. It's Riley McGree! Off the bench, I think it's his first touch of the game, and he scored for City to put them 2 1 ahead. Remarkable! Well, it was his first touch of the game, and what a finish, and what a run from deep. And he came, you could see him coming, and no one picked him up. And what he do? What he did, I think the victory defenders thought his run is dragging the attention away, and he's going to play it to Fornaroli. A brilliant pass 
And what about the finish? Still plenty of time for victory. Honda's going to have a go. He dips all. Eugene Galakovic had to backtrack. It was dipping. Around the outside, cuts inside onto his left foot. Big deflection there, which takes the pace off the ball. And it's looping, and Eugene Galekovic just gets enough elevation to get his big right hand to push it over the bar. Field up ahead of him. Into the box by Honda. Good punch away by Galekovic. It's a great punch from Galekovic. Just what one. you need for your goalkeeper. Yeah, and a di difficult one to deal with. A lot of bodies in front of him. Sansor finds it across. Galekovic pulls it away. Troisi, oh, and Galekovic again with a reaction stop to put it behind for a corner. Well, brilliant play from both sides. And Kurt Am says enough. And it is Melbourne City who record just their second derby win in six attempts. Riley McGree off the bench, onto the score sheet with his very first touch.